Bella coming at you guys with a update and other things I would like to discuss with you guys. I know I haven't been as consistent as I want to or as I should have been or as I promised, but I want to apologize and basically I'm here so we can catch up. So here we go. Um, first, I'm going to start off with how many weeks I am. I am 25 weeks. My weeks roll over every Friday. Excuse me. Um, baby is doing well. Baby is doing fine. Can't ask for nothing better. So, here we go. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I put everything I would like to discuss on cards. This card, so I won't forget it. So, please, please bear with me because we're going to discuss my symptoms, my cravings, and I have a couple of baby items that I bought Baby E that I would like to share with you guys. So like I said, I'm 25 weeks. My weeks roll over every Friday. And um, my symptoms for the last, I want to say, two weeks has been nothing really. I mean, other than heartburn. Um, my doctor changed my heartburn medication. My heartburn has been eating me alive. I've been dealing with itchy belly, so I am currently using bio oil. I apply the bio oil at least three times a day, in the morning, then in the afternoon, and then right after my shower. Um, I don't have any stretch marks, and I want to keep it that way. I'm hoping to snatch right back as soon as baby E is born. Call it hopeful wishing, call it praying, but that is what I want. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, in week 24, no, week, week 24, I did have a scare. Was it 24? The beginning of, the end of 23, the beginning of 24, I did have a scare where we thought I was going to go into preterm labor. Um, I was on the McKenna shots from week 14 all the way up to week 20. And the insurance company decided that, hey, she doesn't, she's not a candidate for preterm labor, which is ludicrous. Um, but once I went into the hospital and I was hooked up to, to the contraction machine and I was having the many contractions consistently, the next day I did have to go to my doctor with the steroid medication that I was showing you guys in my last video. And with the contraction sheet and the report from the doctor in the hospital, the insurance company reissued me the McKenna, the McKenna injection, my doctor did have to call the insurance company and kind of go off on them um, and let them know, like, listen, we've given you the paperwork to show that she has no full-term pregnancies. The furthest I ever went was 36 weeks. Um, and basically, he let them know that if she has a baby, your preterm baby, and has to go into NICU, you guys are going to be paying a lot more than the McKenna shop course. And also, you guys could be dealing with a lawsuit. So I'm going to show you guys. It's an auto-injector, which I don't understand why they call it an auto-injector. Because this is not something you can give to yourself. It has to be done in the back of the arm, which is severely, severely painful. Um, but this is it. I don't know if you guys can see through the window the little fluid. And this is given once a week by my lovely husband, Stephen Mitchell. Um, also, while, while in the hospital and at my recent doctor's appointment, they did check my C-section scar to make sure it wasn't thinning out. Oh, excuse me, you guys, to make sure that it wasn't thinning out. And they did reconfirm that I can have a VVAC. So that is what I'm choosing to do. After having the contractions that I was having um, a couple of weeks ago, I'm kind of nervous to do a VVAC because those contractions made me remember how bad the pain was with Serenity. I mean, it was complete hell. But I'm going to put my big girl panties on and I'm going to warm it up and I'm going to have a VVAC. Um... I was informed that I can have three people in a room, so I will be flying my mom in from New York. She has never missed a birth. 
It will be Steve, and I'm going to have Serenity in the room with me during my VVAC. So I'm hoping to God that nothing goes wrong. And I also created a birthing plan, and my doctor informed me with that birthing plan to have it notarized. So that way, it becomes it goes from words on a piece of paper to now it's a legal document. That way, if anything happens, anything go wrong while I'm in labor, the hospital have to follow what I what my wishes are. Okay, food cravings. I've been craving Captain D's. I'm from New York. We don't have a Captain D's. We have a Long John Silver's and other stuff like that. But I've been craving Captain D's um, for the last couple of weeks. Thanks to Patrice Walker, I've been craving Outback. She's my, like, food buddy, but she's, like, a bad influence because I could, like, truly not be wanting anything. And then she'll pull up to a drive through while I'm on FaceTime with her. And all of a sudden now, I have to run out and get, get it because it's just in my head. So, Captain D's, Outback, and my late night get right, I will wake Steve up no matter what time it is, is a Butterfinger and a Sprite. I have to have a Butterfinger and a Sprite every freaking night. And mind you, before we got pregnant, I had fillings. So, I really shouldn't be eating a Butterfinger, but Butterfinger is my desired candy for real for real um and another thing is is that throughout my whole pregnancy I didn't gain any weight in the last past three weeks I've gained 13 pounds so I know you guys can see it all in my face and everything but it's okay um I've gained 13 pounds um also I thought it was just me I thought it was weird you know when you're pregnant you don't want to contribute things to the pregnancy because you're like you know maybe I'm just bugging but I have been getting moles all over I don't know if you guys can see it I have moles I have moles here um and what made me say okay this has to be from the pregnancy I was watching mommy on deck and she pointed out that she had moles and I was like son of a bitch I'm having moles from the pregnancy but I was just too afraid to tell my doctor like I think this baby is giving me moles on my face so um okay so let's get to the good stuff my baby haul um for my baby haul what I did was baby E is gonna be baby number five um between me and Steve we have a total of six he has a 20 year old son then you know the four that I have and then this baby well, the four that we have, let me put it like that, and then this baby. So, you know, I'm not working. I'm going to school. I'm a full-time student. And um, I said to myself, we need to do something a little bit more sufficient and affordable so that way baby E will have everything he needs. Like, right now, I'm sitting in his nursery. His nursery is fully done. I'm not ready to show it just yet. Um... But we wanted to do something that was more um, cost effective and wouldn't break the bank because we still have Steve is paying for me to go to school. He's the only one that's working. And then we have children that need, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving is coming. So what we did back in September, we started a layaway. We, we are very big on layaway. If we could pick stuff out, put it on layaway, and make payments, that's what we did. So the first thing we did was clothes. Uh, being that baby E is going to be born during the winter, I did not want to wait, because we are in the South, I did not want to wait until January, February to start getting his things, because down here, they start after Christmas, they start pulling the winter stuff out and putting like spring and stuff like that in. And I just wanted to make sure he had sufficient amount of winter clothes to take him, you know, over. So here are a couple of items. I think this is too, too cute. And you know what? I'm For first time moms, they might not prefer it, but everything we got was either at Burlington Ross or Marshalls, um, the same thing they're going to sell at Gap and Carter's and Oshkosh, Bagosh, or whatever that store is called, you can get at Burlington. So, I got him these. 
And what I did was none of my kids went full term. So I did get a lot of preemie clothes. So this here is preemie. And I just think this is so cute. It come with the little pants. And um, we did keep the receipt just in case he doesn't fit. Some of his clothes, they said that we can bring it back and do an even exchange. So these are preemie pants. So I want to say we got him about 12 preemie outfits. I'm not going to show you guys everything because it's just a lot of stuff. And then now on to the newborns. Got him, you know, the t-shirts. I, I, I got him a lot of these onesies because I figure... He's not going to need pants and a shirt and, you know, stuff like that. He's going to be in the house, in the car, and that's really about it. And plus, the more two-piece outfits you get for babies, you got to figure out which one goes back together. You got to pair the outfits up together. You lose stuff. It's just, yeah, no. So, we did get him a lot of onesies. This one right here I thought was too cute. Daddy Snuggle Monster. This is too cute. I love this. And Steve just had to get this, which I was like, this is out of season because it's, he's going to be born after Thanksgiving. But what daddy wants, daddy gets. And then um, this is more newborn stuff. And then we got him some zero to three months. Serenity, this is a like velour, like suede material. Serenity hates this. So if I don't want her to pick my baby up, this is what I would put it in. A lot of this stuff, you guys, mind you, Steve did pick out. I love this. So what we ended up doing is uh we only got him enough clothes. Up until about three months because I don't know what the weather is gonna be like out here and I didn't want to buy him things that he may potentially can't fit and also I figured if he's born the time that he's supposed to be born um, by the time he's three months it'll be tax season and then we can just do another big shopping for him I don't want to have a bunch of clothes that just get bypassed and he never gets to really wear it. I mean, because even if you keep your receipt, if you keep your receipt, that doesn't necessarily mean when you take it back to the store, they're going to give you the same value that you paid for it. So I just rather buy the clothes as he needs. This is his, his outfit. And then we got him some bibs. Steve picked these out. He, I mean... And Steve picked him out, picked these out also because I definitely would have not done all white bibs because they get filthy really quick. And let me see what else. I'm really big, excuse me, I'm really big on receiving blankets. I love, 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 love receiving blankets. Like, to me, you can never have enough. These are all his receiving blankets in here. And as you can see, it's almost filled up to the top. And then we have hats. If he's anything like my other children, he's not going to want to keep a hat on. But we do have them. These ones come with the little fuzzy booties. This one is my favorite. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
And then um, we grabbed him some socks. We definitely have to get more socks for him. I'm just rushing, skimming through the stuff to show you guys. I'm not showing everything because it would just take too long. And ooh, we got him some uh, wash rags, washcloths. some towels um also we uh did get his we have his crib like i said i'm currently now sitting in a nursery it's all set up we got his crib we got his um bounty chair we have his dresser we have his dehumidifier um we pretty much have everything the only thing we oh i have his breast pump my mom bought his bottles. I did go with the, uh, oh God, I don't want to botch the name, but it's the bottles that look like a breast, a shape of a breast. Nano, Nano, Nano B or whatever it's called. Um, I got a medulla breast pump. Um, and I put that on that way. Being that it's the winter time, soon as Walmart allowed, um, open up layaway, the things like his bounty seat, um, his dresser, my breast pump, bottles, stuff like that. We just threw that all on layaway. We figured we have, I think um, Walmart opened up the lay layaway August 31st, and then you have to pick it up by December 9th. So we just, all the big items, not the clothes, because Walmart won't let you lay away on clothes, but um, the big items we just put on layaway. And when Steve gets paid, we just put a little down here and there. And, um, but I think he's more enthused and excited than I am because every time he gets paid or his day off, he wants to go buy little things here and there and let's go check on this. Let's buy this. And I kind of have to let him know like, Hey, we still got a couple of more months before he's here. So we have time to get his stuff. Um, now about the baby's nursery. The baby doesn't have its own room. It's in an area. We have two living rooms. We don't no longer live in the big house that we used to live in. We live in a smaller house. So we have two living rooms. Um, one is in the further part of the house. The bedrooms are on this side of the house and he's in the middle and then it's like the kitchen and the dining room. So we made the open living room his area. He's gonna be community property. Everybody's gonna help raise him and take care of him. So uh, that's pretty much his his nursery. Um, we didn't do we didn't go expensive for his crib. We looked on let go, and I was very selective on who I got the crib from. I did explain to the people that I got his crib from that I wanted to go to their home and pick the crib up. I know that sounds weird. But I want to see how you live in because my baby's going to sleep in this crib. So we did um, the crib online that we have. The retail value was $379. We got his crib off, off of let go for $60. And the story of why the woman had to get rid of the crib is very sad. Um, but it was, I lucked up, which sounds horrible, but I don't mean it to sound like that. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, the chair that I'm sitting in, we moved this to his nursery. It was out in the storage unit, but I need a chair to sit in while I'm nursing him or whatever I may be doing. So we moved this in. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if I'm leaving anything out, if you guys have any questions, if y'all wondering anything, please, please, please do not be afraid to leave it down in the comments. Um, I also could be reached at shellttcbella at aol.com. Um, also, I'm going to show you guys my baby bump because someone did inbox me and ask me why I never show my baby bump. And to that, I don't show my baby bump because I don't show my baby bump on social media because no one knows I'm pregnant. No one on my personal social media knows I'm pregnant. I didn't share it. Friends don't know family don't know I mean of course my mom my sister my brother my brother-in-laws know but other than that no one else knows 
So I can't share a baby bump that no one knows about. Um, what else? Also, someone asked me about a baby shower. I'm not having a baby shower. I'm from New York City, Harlem, New York, Staten Island, New York. I'm currently living in Georgia. I don't know anyone here. So for me to put together a baby shower, I have I would have to go to New York to do it. And which is possible, but around the time that I'm having the baby, things will be expensive. The haul will be expensive. Um, and I just feel like the cost of getting an outfit, the cake, the haul, you know, you, to me, if you're going to have a baby shower, you need to guarantee that the gifts that you're going to get for the baby is going to compensate the money that you kicked out to have that event. And it's just not for us to fly. I can't drive. Um, my bladder won't let me do it. So for us to fly, it's going to cost us. Then how will we get the gifts back? That's another thing. To get the gifts back, it will cost us. It's, it's not it's not worth it. So I'd rather just pace myself, get what he needs now, and the things that he don't need now, I'm not going to worry about it. But all right, ladies, I want to wish you guys a happy holiday because the holidays is coming up. And I want to wish you, those of you who are still on the TTC journey, much baby does, don't give up. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of if it's just a matter of when we all play a role in father time and you just have to sit back and let him choose you when it's time i know that sounds so corny but i didn't think this was ever going to happen for me and i'm just months away from holding my rainbow baby so much love to you all bye Sorry, you guys, I forgot to post the bump, but here we go. And like I said, no stretch marks yet. And hopefully they won't come. Once again, bye.